Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click, and today I will take you on a tour of one of Click's powerful capabilities, the associative difference. A unique advantage powered by the Click Associative Engine that allows you to explore data freely and uncover hidden insights when compared with SQL and query based tools. We will start with the association basics. I will demonstrate this using something everyone should be familiar with, movies and actors. Here you see two list boxes representing dimensional values or attributes. Those values that relay information such as who, what, where, when, etc. There is one for actors and one for movies. When I select a value from actors such as Tom Hanks, it is highlighted in green indicating the current selection, and you will see the movies dimension updates showing me the movie values Castaway and Forrest Gump. These are highlighted in white, indicating that these values are related to the actor's selection. But also take note of those movie values highlighted in dark gray. That is an indication of unrelated data. As you know, Tom Hanks did not star in those movies. That unrelated information, however, is still available in your view and not removed or filtered out, like it would be with the query based tool. Therefore, this information is not removed from my perspective and can potentially prompt me to ask additional questions. Let's move on to the next example, which demonstrates a bit more on this power of gray and how query based tools remove data from your view. Watch when I select animation from the movie genre list box. All other list boxes update accordingly, showing me values that are related and not related to my selection, while the query based tool literally filters out the information. If I take this one step further and continue my exploration by selecting Finding Dory, notice my genre shows me that Finding Dory can also be found in the comedy and family genre. I know this because they are highlighted in light gray, something I would not have known if using a query based tool. As you can see, that data has been left behind the deeper I explore. Now let's take this even one step further and explore some visualizations within what we call a global context. Here you see a sample dashboard that shows movie counts and their generated revenue by a variety of dimensions. Watch what happens when I click on a bar in the genre bar chart. All the visualizations on the page immediately update, representing information from my selection. The Click Associative Engine automatically keeps all objects and context together, with each selection allowing you to spot related insights in surrounding analytics. Query based tools require you to pass parameters, issue multiple queries, connect filters, and even define individual connections amongst chart objects and visualizations. This can be time consuming error-prone, and resource-intensive, if they can do it at all. If I continue my selections on another visualization, notice that my prior selection is maintained. Some query-based tools can only handle one selection at a time, restricting your ability to explore. Next, let's explore all your data. Another important feature of Click's associative difference is that all of your data is present without the fear of leaving data behind. Notice that my total revenue depicts all genres, including those that are missing. When using a query based tool, database modeling skills and multiple queries may be necessary and joins must be defined. Limiting you to partial data sets and potentially risking double counted data or even leaving data out, giving you an incomplete picture. Finally, Click's associative difference allows you to start your analysis from any direction including the ability to search all of your data. If you are not sure where to start, simply search the keywords that you know, and the associative engine will suggest multiple values and fields related to your search criteria, helping you find what you need quickly and easily. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on Click's associative difference. Check out these other great resources to learn more about ClickSense, and be sure to join the conversation with myself and others in the Click community. Take care, and I'll see you on the next video.